everybody. Right now we are up at the trail ride, not County Trail Ride. And see there's no one else here. <laughs> but what are we doing up here? I have the wind turbine, my homemade wind turbine up on top, up on top of Zephyr. Uh, the actual turbine itself is laying in the rack there. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to put it up out here, try it and see what kind of results we get out of it. Uh, I don't have a charge controller yet for it. Um, it's I ordered it a little while back still has not come in yet and uh, it's going to be a while so I want to actually try it out and you know see what kind of numbers I get with it's not a whole lot of wind out here today but it should be plenty to to at least give us a little bit of an idea but every time I come up here it's windy as heck and today it's not I'd say maybe six eight mile an hour wind something like that it's, it's not a whole lot but i think it should be enough to give us a little test uh let me show you how i got it on here okay you can hear my little diesel heater going it's kind of cold out today and i got it going blowing some good warm air into the bus and right here is the end of the fin i just took and screwed it into my porch to keep it can to keep it from swinging out because you can tell that's where the swivel is right there i've got both poles stuck up in here and they're strapped all down and up on top you see one of the blades sticking out right there and the other one is uh sticking way out over here <laughs> I guess that's one thing about a wind turbine. If you want to try to leave everything together, it's going to be kind of hard to do. All right, well, I'm going to take all this stuff down and put the wind turbine up and let's see what it does. Okay, so let's see if we can get this set up.
okay as you can see the windmill is up back far enough and it's turning so let's show you what we got on the bottom here okay so right here we've got a light and I've got a switch tied in so that I can turn the light on and we'll see how that affects the actual uh, motion of the unit here all right so um, it's gonna be kind of hard to show this well maybe what I can do I can get back a little bit all right see right now well gotta get so far back <laughs> okay right now you can see the windmill is spinning pretty good the light down here you can't see but yeah I guess you can see it it's not lighting up because the switch is off all right so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna set the camera down and I'm gonna walk over and I'm gonna flip the switch to the light on we're getting about 13 volts right now to down there from the windmill thing so that should be enough to light that 12 volt bulb up that is a 75 watt bulb it's one that came out of the bus you can see there's another one uh right there it's one that came out of the bus so it's a 75 watt bulb so whenever that comes on that will test how much power we're putting out if we can handle 75 watts with about, I don't know, it's probably, I guess right around, I'll have to look at the weather report or the, uh, what the weather says that the wind speed is. I'm saying less than 10, maybe eight. And I don't know if we're gonna put out no 75 watts and still be able to maintain that kind of speed. I kind of doubt it, but let's just give it a try anyway. See what we can do. Let me set the camera up. That works. Okay, so you can see I've got the windmill spinning. You can tell there's no mode whatsoever on it because the light bulb is not lit up. You can see the wire. It just comes straight down the pole and straight out the bottom. It's just running two that light with a little switch on it. So, when I flip that switch, it's gonna put a load on that generator. Let's see if it will continue spinning or if it's gonna to try to stop or what it's gonna do. Way down. So way down. I don't think it's going to stop, but it's it's quite a bit slower than what it was a minute ago. It is lighting up the light bulb, though. Let's go over here and check it out. You see, it's turning a whole lot slower. You can tell it's got a load on it now. The wind is dying a little too but you can see the bulb is it's lighting up pretty good I mean that bulb of course goes a lot brighter than that <laughs> but you can see that at 75 watts it can almost stall out I mean that right there it, it couldn't be putting out more than like six six seven volts now but see, if we had more wind, it would probably do better. Let me get my meter and we'll test and see how much we have here. All right, now it's still pretty slow. And down here we've got, yeah, 
Not a whole lot. As the wind dies <laughs> a little more, it goes way down. But with 75 watts of draw, it draws it down to uh, 5 volts. So it would have stopped charging at this wind speed. Now that doesn't really mean that it won't charge at all. It just means that, I mean, you can tell it at the grass, trees, and stuff like that. You can tell we don't have much wind out here today. So you don't see much moving around. But it's still enough to spin that and light up that bulb. And I think if we had if we had about 15 mile an hour wind, I'm sure we would be putting out 12 volts right now. It was a while ago without the uh, light bulb on it. <laughs> now it's, uh, yeah. Anyway, that, I would call that a pretty successful test. All right, so am I getting any charge out of it? Uh, well, right now I'm not because I don't have my charge controller yet. But whenever I do get my charge controller and hook it up, then we'll see, you know, exactly how much we're really getting. Now, I think uh, I could probably call this a 75 to 100 watt generator. It's not going to put out a whole lot. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of money in it either. So I guess figure if we get 75 watts of power and it is any time that the wind's blowing then you know that's still pretty good you know for the price would i think that a uh, windmill would be worth having on a schoolie yes in some conditions now let's say we were going to come up here and spend two days up here. I might throw it up for that, you know. If I knew we was going to have good wind, I might, if we're not going to have any solar. Um, would I do all that to spend a night? No. Just one night? No. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go through all that just to spend one night. It would have to be at least... Two nights preferably more before I would go through all the work of hooking all this up but the thing is if you got a day like today you can see the sky we are not going to be getting any solar today at all hardly I mean we may get just a little bit we're not going to get much but as you can see We've got wind, and that thing is putting out. Now on the cabin, I think this was this will be perfect for the cabin. But I mean, look at it; it's just sitting there, just spinning away. <laughs> anyway, one more thing I am kind of curious about is what it sounds like inside. You can definitely hear the windmill going. I can feel it in the ceiling. Feel it through the ceiling. That vibration. Um, that's because of all the gearing. Now, if it was a direct drive and the blades were directly pushing a generator instead of spinning a set of gears and chains and all that kind of stuff, um, well, it's, it's, it's just spinning two sets of chains. If it was only driving uh, a generator itself, well, it's, not, it's picking up pretty good now out there. <laughs> See if I don't know way you'll be able to hear it, but you can hear it now. The phone is laying right against the metal. Yeah, you can hear that all through the bus. Um, I think you would probably get used to it after a little while and it wouldn't be that bad. 
I mean, I can talk just normal. I'm not, I don't have to shout or anything like that. So it's not too bad. But anyway, let's go back out. Successful test, I call it. It does work, makes power, and I won't really know all the numbers until I get that that uh, charge controller in. But I was just wanting to try it out and see what it could do. Anyway, I guess that's going to be about it for this video. I appreciate everybody watching, and I'll see y'all on the next one.